Today I'd like to talk about the Intel Smart Response Technology. This is a CAS feature of the Intel Rapid Storage Technology. This video is part two to my first video, the MSATA installation with the Intel 525 series. On the top right of the screen you can see the solid state device that I installed and it's already configured as a RAID cache volume. When we click into that device we can see that it's set as a cache device and when we click on the mechanical device beneath it it's set to acceleration mode. This is the accelerated disk. You can change the the mode here to the acceleration but I recommend leaving it in enhanced. This provides fault tolerance in the event of a hardware failure. The software on the screen you need for this cache feature to work. Also your mechanical drive needs to be set to RAID. Um, if you don't know if you have this Intel Rapid Storage Technology software you can simply type in Intel in your search and it should come up pretty quickly. If you do not have this software you can download it but you do need version 10.5 or later and also you need to make sure that your processor supports this. That's about it for the software. Everything else is pretty much automatic. You won't spend much time in here changing anything unless you just want to check your status or change the mode or add a disk which most likely won't happen. What I do want to show you is some application load times. So we'll start with Microsoft Word and you can see how quickly that came up. This is coming off the SSD. We'll, we'll try Photoshop CS6 this is this just came up real quick this is a definitely an application um, that takes a lot of resources um, and we'll do one more uh, Sony Vegas Pro 12 this is a resource intensive program um, and you can see that it just blazed right on up um, for the most part you won't have to do any configurations um, like I mentioned earlier when you first install you're gonna have to set it to enable and you're gonna have to choose a mode but I would recommend just leaving it at that um, that's pretty much it with managing uh, it, it'll stay in, in that in that uh, mode until you change it um, there's no no uh, modifications or configurations that you have to do um, as the end user um, so that's about it for uh, the demonstration of of this software um, I hope that you go out and you try this. This is this is just a, a way, great way to improve your system performance on a budget. Um, and I hope you stay tuned for more videos.